Welcome back to the Pitch Pod, everyone. I am your host, Jeff Stebbins. Join with me, as always, is my co-host, Joe Janner. Joe, how are you doing this evening? Jeff, I'm doing well. Thank you, as always. Excited to be a part of the Pitch Pod. Looking forward to brief recap, getting back from international break and into the Classic Curve, looking at Bayern versus Dortmund. So happy to be here. Looking forward to the conversation. Absolutely. Yeah. As Joe said, we are going to talk about Bayern v. Dortmund and make our predictions as we always do. But just real quick, touching back on that international matchup between France and the Netherlands. Joe, what was your initial takeaways from that match? I think we both figured that France would come out victorious and maybe not at that mark, though. I mean, them winning 4-0 and Mbappe scoring a couple, really a dominating performance. I thought Netherlands would present more as far as preventing France's attack and their ability to create chances and score. But sure enough, France was very successful, very dominated performance to win four to zero. So, I mean, they move on in the qualifiers, got a couple rounds out the way, and we'll see how France continues to go. And if Netherlands is able to put together to, to get it forward in advance, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. For sure. Uh, it's always fun watching Mbappe play. He's he's definitely one of my favorites and and one of the top players right now, without question. Yeah. Looking ahead, we have a huge matchup in Germany. We have Bayern Munich versus Dortmund BVB. This is one of those classic matchups, Joe, that, you know, I get excited to watch and I think everyone is ready to tune in for it. And so I'm excited for this one. Obviously two teams, a great rivalry out of Germany. So we can expect some real high quality soccer, but Joe going into this game, what are, what are you kind of expecting to see from both sides? I think the first thing you have to look at is that we're now with a Bayern replacement manager and Thomas Tuchel, He's set, I'm sure, to have his players perform at the highest levels. He has, he's a manager with high expectations of his players, and, and I'm sure the training regimen that's gone along with it to prepare for this match is top-notch. So I, I think you're going to see a Bayern side that, well, well, they're in second and down a point. I, I see them putting together a, a performance that's going to be lend itself to a win. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to jump too far ahead, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of there too. Um, so I, I think I know what direction you're headed for your prediction. But before we get there, Joe, are there some any players that you expect might have a big breakout match this game from either side? I think starting with Byron. I mean, I know in speaking about the replacement manager and Thomas Tuchel, he's been keen to look to see how he can get more so out of. Leroy Sané, I think that there's some, you know, means way Sadio Mane feature. I mean, you got Thomas Mueller. I think you got a number of players in that squad that in the right system, performing at their highest levels, are capable of creating attacking threats and being a goal-scoring personnel within that side. So I'm really thinking that they have a capability to, to score a couple few goals in this one. Yeah, I could definitely see that playing out. Uh, absolutely yeah and how big is the home field advantage for Bayern I, I know both teams are you know we're both we're talking about two German teams you know how big is it having that home advantage for Bayern I think it's massive in the sense that again where they stand where, what they know they can do with the personality I mean the Bayern side probably lends itself to have a little bit more experience players that have been in this setting have been in this environment now they get a chance to look, briefly look at Dortmund with the youth, you know, of a Giorena and a Jude Bellingham, those, those type of players gaining the experience will be looking forward to this type of match. But I think that the, again, as you suggested, the home field advantage for Bayern with their experienced players will really have, have a impact on how this game plays out. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I can't wait to see it, but um, yeah, I think I'm ready for my prediction, Joe. Are, are, am I jumping too quickly ahead to the next segment, or are you ready for your prediction as well? 
I'm ready there as well. I think I'm, you know, looking at the probability of where Byron stands to win. I think the last number I saw, they are fair to win 66%. Wow. And that's, I mean, aside from looking at that, but again, based on the conversation, like you talked about the players and what they should be set to do with the new manager. I think that Byron's going to win this 2-1. Okay. Okay. That that seems fair. 66%. I That seems kind of high, personally, even with the home field advantage. That's That seems pretty high to me. But I'm going to go with Byron as well, except I think it's going to be – I think it's going to be a one nil match. So still just the one goal differential should be well contested. Like we talked about, I think, I don't think that it's given, it's going to be a given. Right. But I think it sounds like we're both in favor of a Byron win. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Granted, it seems every time I say, I think it's going to be a close match, it seems to be a blowout. So that has happened fairly often, <laughs> but we have been predicting the winners. So I, I do think Byron's going to win this by how much, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but going into this match. Yeah. yeah we're both kind of at the same place thinking maybe a goal at most two goals, but I really don't see a blowout here, Joe. What about you? No, they both, again, both teams will come prepared. They know that what's at stake. I mean, you look at a, Dortmund side that's unbeaten the last 10 contests since the return of the World Cup. They're, they're, I mean, they're in the perfect form to do well. I think what's a little bit concerning for me is that the fact that they're more willing to to lose a game than uh, a, a Bayern side. So in maybe even looking at the number of goals they've given up. So I think that though it is going to be, again, a Bayern side victorious in this their classicer. All right, there you have it. Two two votes for Byron here. So thank you for tuning in, everyone. I, I hope everyone gets a chance to sit down and enjoy the match. It should be a blast of a game. And the best way to support us, if you like what we're bringing, is please like and subscribe. We would really appreciate it here at the Pitch Pod. So thank you, and keep pitching out there, everyone. In a game, the round ball, round posts, anything can happen.